what's going on everybody welcome back to the channel it's your girl and Prish Jem here to drop some jewels okay so i have this theory and um it has to be true because this is like the properly traveled tingling foot for me so fire signs aries Leo, sagittarius you guys are up okay let's get housekeeping out first real quick so guys, it's a general message. This is the weekly update, you know, next seven days, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, however it falls in your chart. It's a general message, so it cannot resonate with everyone. Take what's for you, leave the rest behind. In any event, don't forget to give the video a thumbs up. Subscribe to the channel before you head out. Hitting that bell button so you know when those videos drop. Leave your comments below. Let me know what's going on. I relate. I comment back. I pick up. Could be done with a Virgo. I pick up on a lot of the energy. Sometimes those messages get relayed in the next videos, right? If you're on any of those social media platforms, go ahead and follow me on over there. I mean, this is definitely past energy. Go ahead and follow or soulmate energy. Go ahead and follow me over there. We will get updates in regards to the channel as well. I, oh, Jesus. I just, it's like I need to get this out. <laughs> like I was saying, go ahead and follow me over on those social media platforms. We will get updates in regards to the channel as well as Micah and me energy. And personal readings. Currently, guys, personal readings are all marked down at drastically lower prices. And that is simply because uh, September is going to be a rough-ass month. And I just want to make sure I can help as many people as I can before I go back to what I know I'm about to go back to and come October 1st, okay? So, if you're looking for a reason, take advantage. All that information is listed below. Okay. But, yeah. So, fire signs. Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. So what I've been getting, everybody's been going through their towers, okay? Saturn's returning, okay, going direct. Karma's coming out. I keep telling everybody in the September, in the September. Matter of fact, catch me October 1st. Because then I know once September has happened and everything is done and over, supposedly, then you know what the, you know, you might have some residue clean. But from what I'm seeing so far, especially starting off these weekly reads, and mind you, it's starting with the last day of August, okay? It's not even starting on September 1st. Because I'm going to definitely try to have these videos out for you guys between 5 and 7 p.m. Eastern time, okay? But what I am picking up and what I am getting is, you know, these tower moments. And so far what I've realized between earth, air, and water is that everybody's tower moment isn't hitting the same. But for some reason within the elements, and even when I look at back at the previous reads I've done, it's like you all are being hit with the tower moments roughly in the same period of time frame. So my theory, and according to my foot, which will not stop going off and is really tingling and ringing now that I'm getting closer to saying this, is that fire signs, you guys suffer with the tower moment first. I feel like you guys started the tower moment, all that fire, okay? Between you and Scorpio, because uh, during the water signs reading, Scorpios was kind of like on some, all right, Scorpio, you growing, keep growing. <laughs> compared to their other counterparts in here. But I want to feel like you guys started with your tower moment first, okay? Like, you had a tower moment before every and anybody going through it. Air signs followed behind you guys and then had one, like, right after. I feel currently right now water signs are in the middle of going through their uh tower. A lot of them are really in the tower, like, right now. I feel like fire signs, you guys have had a tower, you went through the residue, you still have some clearing up, like whatever other energy that you may be dealing with in regards to that tower moment is, you know, that's where those other readings will come into play at, like whatever they're going through, right? Air signs, you know, I feel that they, uh, they're dealing with residue of a tower moment, you know, but really cleaning it up a lot more, kind of getting close to you guys on your same page. Water signs is really dealing with the residue right now. The tower, the tower has recently hit them, I feel, and they're going through it. And I feel for earth signs, they're about to like experience their tower like this week. I feel a lot of them are getting ready to experience the tower moment like this week now. As we are in, you know, Virgo season, in the earth element season, I feel that. And with Saturn also operating as Capricorn, you know, coming from Capricorn, I feel that, um... 
the earth signs are catching the tower moment last when with Saturn's return. So, I mean, I'm hoping people comment, you know, leave me messages, let me know what the hell going on so I can see how that theory is working. But um, in any case, fire signs, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. Let's get that back up in here. Let's re-tap, tap, tap in. Honestly, I, I just feel like, like I said, because I feel like the tower hit y'all first. Y'all are more further along candling and clearing out your karma compared to others, okay? I do see because, you know, you guys are really trying to deal with stuff that you could be um, selling yourself a little short. I do feel the energy of um, some of you guys could be trying to give your energy to folks who aren't deserving of it. Some of you aren't giving the energy where you need to give the energy. Um, some of you are just feel like you need to take the reins or have like so much more control over a situation or it's like, I don't know. It's like however a situation is going for you right now, and like for certain energy, certain instances, it's just you're really unsure. Like, I don't think um, a lot of you guys expect a certain sh yeah, shit to happen the way that it did. Yeah, see that balance. It's like it's an airy feel where you're just like, okay, this shit hit the fan, but it didn't go how I thought it was going to go. Like. Is this safe to sleep? Like, do I need to sleep with one eye open? Like, what's going on? And it's like, no. Like, I just... You guys just got lucky. You know, you guys got lucky on the come up with your whole situation. Hold on one second, guys. All right, fire signs. Let's give this a couple more shuffles. I can't recall. Uh, it's been, yeah, Sarah says, no, that was a, a discipline. Okay. So stay in discipline, okay? Stay in focus. Because like I said, I feel like the tower moment has already happened for you guys. Yeah, freedom, okay? I possess the power and the free will to create my own happiness. So like I said, you guys are out of your tower moment for the most part. But um, it depends on who you're dealing with, what your other sign is that you're dealing with for what you still have left to go through. But I feel like whatever your karma is or whatever like your hidden or your dark side, whatever was supposed to come back for you has already came out and has been released for you guys, okay? So, Aries. What's the message? One for Aries, please. So now, guys, I just feel like I'm telling you, trying to get them done. All right, Aries, you guys got discipline. I can accomplish what I set my mind to, okay? So, like I said, stay in focus now that your tower moment has happened, okay? Um, using your intuitive insight here to definitely move forward. Your third eye is open. You woke as fuck. Like, you seeing what the hell going on. With the imagination, I embrace and nourish the creative aspect of my mind. That's both... Um, Third eye and crown chakra energy. This is a lot of you guys using your intuition, using your discernment, seeing clearly, you know, how things really are, you know, and not allowing yourself to get caught up in the shits or whatever. Like the tower done hit for you guys. You see things for what they are and now you're moving forward and you're sticking to, you know, the new life that you have been granted for yourself. Okay. Leo. What's the message for Leo? Yeah. Leo. All right, Leo. You guys got self-esteem here. Solar energy. Using your gut here. Needing to stay grounded, though. But with self-esteem, it says, I possess gifts of the soul that benefits me and others with empathy here. I am open to seeing both sides of the situation. This is, again... Crown activity, using your intuition, intuition, you know, the cosmic energy, but, you know, believing in yourself now that this tower moment has happened. Now it's time for you to see why this happened, how now you need to pick yourself and move forward here. I feel like whatever happened with you guys, more so in particular, really probably brought you down a few notches. I know a lot of the Leos that I know, and don't take it no way, guys, but, you know, you're like, I am lion, hear me roar, rawr, you know, king of the jungle, all that, like, that is like, 
y'all true philosophy and theory. So I feel like whatever time moment came has like not knocked you guys down a few notches. But look, look on a bright side, Donna. Like at least it happened now. Like now, this is I feel like more of a humbling type energy for you. Okay, now you just know what it is exactly that you need to be doing for yourself and how you need to move forward. Sagittarius. Um, light to be an imagination, but let's see. Sagittarius, it'll come back out. Nope. You guys got honesty. I can't always expect the truth from others, but I can expect it from yourself. I feel like with your tower moments, you guys really, um, it was a focal point of being honest and whether or not you were being honest with yourself and being honest with other people. Um, however the hell this played out, but I do feel that, you know, for you guys, when it came out, I feel like you guys, you know, were as honest as you possibly could be or feel that you could be. And now to you, it's just like, look, it's not up to, you know, would that other person feel like I can't change how they feel? All I know is that I was honest myself here. Okay. And underneath the deck, what you guys got? Doubt. Yeah, see? It's a lot of doubt still going on, though. There's still some areas there where I don't know if you're doubting. You know, somebody's doubting your ability to change or you're doubting somebody else's ability to change. Or if you're doubting that, you know, um, things are turning for the better for yourself, especially with the self-esteem card here, Leo. But um, with doubt, it says, I release the need to know all the answers. This is um, heart chakra space, you know, looking inside yourself within your heart, you know, that heart space, you know, things that, you know, you love and you care for and you adore what really matters to you, you know. Um, Aries, you know, being disciplined when it comes to things that you might doubt, you know, or um, not allowing doubt to mess with your self-esteem, Leo, or, you know, not doubting if you're being honest all the way or if this other person is being very honest with you, Sagittarius, or, you know, doubting the amount of honesty that's literally living in the situation, okay? But um, right now, it's not about needing to know all the answers, okay? It's about just embracing what has happened, embracing these changes, you know, embracing your tower moment and, you know, learning the lesson, absorbing and accepting the lesson and moving forward with the lesson. I need to see kind of what this car, yeah, truth, because this car was like sliding all across the day, but laying things to rest here. Okay. Calling a truce to shit <laughs> or your healer's favorite saying, letting bygones be bygones. Right. Okay. So, yeah, my lips are peeling. That's how I know the seasons are changing. So if you see my lips in that little chat, kick rocks, whatever, okay? It doesn't matter how much chapstick I put on, you'll still see it peel through. That just lets me know that the seasons are changing. So, <clears throat> seven card spread. We're starting with today. I'm going to try to have all these up between 5, 7 p.m. Eastern time. So, 31st, we got Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday. Saturday and Sunday, seven cards, next seven days. Underneath the deck, fire signs, you have vast vistas. Expand your horizons. Time to get outside the box. Think outside the box, okay? Um, time to get out of the doubt. I feel like, this, look, and if you look at this, this doubt has, what, a box, a square, right? With all these little pieces on it. But nonetheless, I do feel that you need to step outside of this doubt box, get out of this box here, okay, and expand your horizons. That paired with finding sanctuary, opening to your spiritual source. Mm. Did this tower moment, I'm feeling this tower moment is making a believer out of some of you guys. A lot of you guys had to take a step back and look at, you know, your religious or spiritual upbringings, the things that you believe in, that doubt. Maybe you were doubting something, couldn't believe in something. But whatever this tower moment was, has shown you, is kind of making you a believer to some point here. Um, yeah. It's like fairy tales, because I'm literally seeing Rapunzel. It's like, if you didn't believe in fairy tales, I feel that, you know, whatever happened with this tower moment or whatever has helped you see that shit now. Um, yeah, I feel like it's helped you see that shit now, especially with this vast vistas and expanding your horizons. You're looking out now. Now you're, 
you're seeing, you know, that there is more to life than what you knew in your little box of doubt here. Aha. Uh -huh. Fire signs. It says you are giving away your power. If you're waiting for a sign, well, here it fucking is, okay? Um, let's just get deeper into the reading, guys. So underneath the deck, we do have peace. Bringing peace into your life this week. You're just trying to stay rocking with the peace. All right, I'm picking up here. You're going to have some haters, some naysayers, some people who are going to come in. I'm getting with that dark green, I'm getting envious envious energy somebody who's envious you need to step outside the box and realize that whatever issues that this person is bringing to you has nothing to do with you also any inner doubt you need to release that and let that go if you feel like you've lost something you haven't okay or if you feel like there's still things that you need to know or uncover understand that you know all that you need to know okay the universe has showed you what, to, what you need to know. And if you feel like there's still more, then that's when you need to open to your spiritual source. You need to go within and you need to find these answers within yourself, okay? But don't be out here searching and seeking it from someone else. That's giving your power away. Don't go out seeking it within somebody else. Self-esteem, Leo, okay? Peace. And not for nothing, I have to say that because when I had lift this up to show you doubt, the card that was underneath here was peace, okay? So, yes, don't allow something or someone to come in and interrupt the peace that you are already at right now, okay? So, Monday, you're stepping into your power. You are strong beyond measure here. Um, and people are traveling behind you. You are lighting the way towards others. That's what I'm saying. I feel like you guys got your tower moment first. You started this whole, not to say you started it, fire signs. But no, like you guys started going through this process first, okay? And um, I just feel like there's people now that's behind you who are following you because you have made it. There, like I said, there are some folks who doubt you. Some of you may even be doubting your, your steps along this path. You know, again, remain disciplined, remains, you know, with the esteem of self, Leo, and stay honest within yourself here, Sagittarius, as you're walking, because that is what's going to help you continue to carry on good karma, like to keep your um, to keep your shit clean, pretty much. To keep your shit clean, because like I'm telling folks, look, I wouldn't trust doing no shit until October first. If you're thinking of any shady shit, I mean, not for nothing, you shouldn't be thinking of or wanting to do any shady, shady shit. But if you are, I will wait till then because karma is slapping people a hell of a lot quicker and harder. And I really feel like September is not it. Yeah, you're stepping into your power. You need to stand up and resist whatever the hell is coming your way. Block out any of the energies that are trying to fuck with you here. Okay, let's get these cards to line up correctly how they're going to fall. Fire energy here. Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, Leo, here you are right here. Here is our world card. Here is our endings, our conclusions. Scorpio energy for me because it's like a death. It's an ending. It's completely over. Okay. So yeah, like you guys really have to stand up for yourself, stand in your power and have the strength to really completely close out these cycles, not allow folks to come back in and deal with you in these cycles. Don't go back in and entertain these cycles. Don't have any doubt. Don't get into the self-pity. Step outside the box. Don't get boxed in by these people and don't deal with this anymore. Okay. You are strong beyond measure. And that's what this is showing you. This is your strength right here. This is your strength right here. This is having so much strength to just close shit out and not deal with the drama anymore, to go off to a whole Whole new life to a whole new world okay you're stepping out and it's time to travel i also see you guys some of you guys traveling as well could be dealing with an earth sign towards virgo capricorn mostly a virgo here but this person is like waiting they're waiting for you to come in they're waiting to give something to you or waiting to offer something from you block that shit off okay it's nothing of a value for you okay you need to be disciplined okay be honest with yourself okay this is what's coming in at the beginning of the week that's supposed to bring you some doubt because this person has been waiting on you or they're waiting for you to return or waiting for you to come in if you put that together what is that that's 10 wands that's a burden that's what this person is they're a burden and you need to have the strength to completely close out and not deal with this energy anymore it's a, yeah, look at that. There's hidden secrets. This person has hidden motives, okay? Don't deal with this energy right here. Look at this. I'm going to put these back, but they you've seen them sliding off to me. 
So, yeah, this person has hidden motives that you really need to cut off and, like, let it go. Because in still, behind the scenes, Pisces is Scorpio energy here. You have transformed, okay? And that's what this person is unaware of and they don't know. That you've transformed. So, you need to keep it moving, okay? And to be honest with you, these will be the next cards after these. So, a very major decision. You being able to stand up for your rights and stand up for yourself and block out all the bullshit is a very major decision for you right now, okay, fire signs? Because I feel like you can allow yourself to get caught up in bullshit. Right now, you need to be powerful. You need to be strong. You need to not allow yourself to become weakened by the flesh, weakened in your mind. Stay strong in spirit, opening to your spiritual source here, okay? Tuesday, you guys have rejuvenating rain. Clear the past and heal the present. Like I said, and I said Six of Cups energy, you having somebody from your past coming back around here, okay? But either way, with this here, this is like my Aquarius. I see Aquarius energy, star energy, healing here, okay? It's time to let it go. Closing out the cycle. You're closing out the cycle yesterday. You're letting that shit go. You're not dealing with it. You're trying to be more stable within your own, especially if you're like a... um. A female, if you're more of a feminine energy, you're trying to become more stable on your own. But at the end of the day, it's just like you're you you've had your tower moment. Don't allow the past to come back in. I feel that you guys are still going through some healing and some clearing here, you know, because mm -hmm, you guys have a new opportunity here. You have a new opportunity here. So that's why you need to lay down the burdens here of the past. We got peeking out here with this Taurus Libra energy, the Empress. Um could be dealing with someone that you co-parent with. Could be a mother or a father. You know, I want to see it as an emperor. You know, I want to keep the energy fluid. But you need to lay down the burdens. Because, yeah, look it. That's that three of wands energy again. And we just had it with that queen of pentacles, which is also a mother and type energy. So laying down the burdens and not dealing with this person. Because this person, again, is waiting for you. But you have a new opportunity here in your own life here. You just need to lay down the burdens of your past and not deal with them anymore. Stand up for yourself and move forward and with what you have you know be embrace these new beginnings because you don't went through the shit storm already and like i said somebody is what i told y'all earth is the only ones who haven't hit their tower moment and their shit is this week and we just had earth energy who's waiting to come back and return or coming back to say something taurus and libra energy taurus is earth energy again that's showing up under here being a burden don't deal with it, okay? Like, you went through your drama. Let bygones be bygones. Don't allow them to cast any more doubt or insecurities or fear in your situation. Don't allow them to mess up your karma and put you back in nasty cycles that you have finally got yourself out of, okay? So, where we at Wednesday, wise leader, you are a beacon for others. Like, hmm, I feel like you're going to cut this person out or you're going to tell them what it is that you need to say because you have found the strength within yourself already today, Monday, and being able to move forward. Let me get all of that. Hold up. Okay, so yeah, like I was saying, somebody coming in, or this could be you saying what needs to be said with this Prince of Swords here, but this is real quick. Um, very quick communication, okay? This shit come flying in. And when I see it with this card, it's about pinnacles. It's about protecting your assets and you getting ready to cut off these little straggling ass folks who down here trying to interfere with your gains and what it is that you're doing here, okay? But I do see where somebody is either coming in quickly to try to communicate to you or you doing that here. This is you, Aries Leo Sagittarius. This is your energy. You being passionate. You coming back with that fire, with that smoke. Like, look, I ain't got... I ain't got time for that shit. As I say that, here comes that earth energy, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. Could be a mother and energy, like I said, but this person also could be coming back in and you could be telling them like and cutting them off. Like, look, I'm not dealing with that, okay? I'm just not dealing with you. Like, there's no, like, you're trying to come in for like a moment here, you know? I'm not dealing with that. Like, I'm wise behind my years. I, I already see what's going on. I see what's going on. Like, you want me for my pimp juice? I'm hearing that for some folks. But, um, but see how she just holds on to her pinnacle? Like, she holds it back. Like, she's selfish and stingy. And you, air sign, oh, sorry, could be done with an air sign. Definitely Gemini, Libra, Aquarius with this here. My bad. I'm like, you're not calling out signs all the way. But you, fire sign, I feel like you could be going back to an air sign also. 
somebody that you could have had some like really crazy communication with or whatever. You could be going back to this person because again, there's 10 pinnacles here behind us as well. And they could be cutting folks off. You could be cutting folks off trying to make moves to them. You got this earth energy that's trying to come up behind you and work towards you, but you getting the fuck out of Dodge. Okay. And you're doing what the hell needs to be done. You're making moves. You're moving forward here. Okay. Mm -hmm. What we got under the deck here. Yeah, because you're realizing that this earth energy is not a good look. It's not a good choice for you. Or you're vocalizing and voicing possibly to this earth energy that I don't want to be with you. There is nothing here. Emotionally, you do not fulfill me. Okay, because this is cups. All right. There is no luxury here between us. There is nothing there. Okay, I don't want this. And you're cutting them off. You're voicing this and you're cutting this off. You're becoming a wise leader. You're taking on... The role that you're supposed to take, you're listening to your own intuition, you're listening to source, you know, taking that wise leadership and, you know, you're lighting your way because usually, you know, the hermit has the, has his lantern this way. But again, you're lighting your way, just like on Monday when you were stepping into your powder power, the lantern was behind you and you was lighting away for others, right? As you were stepping into your power. And now you're just like this completely fierce ass leader and there's no more lantern. You actually move with fire, okay? Fire signs, like you move with your element now and that wine, that sphere. You're ready to take down whoever comes your way, okay? Where we at? Thursday. Transformation. Look at that. This is beautiful. Death energy Scorpio card here, okay? A fresh new way of living emerges. Once you tell this person, like, look, I'm done. I'm not fucking with you. Whatever, whatever. They're going to be upset, but you will be free. You will feel free. I am picking up nothing but fire energy, especially with these bright red, reds and oranges. You are done. Yeah, you're no longer communicating to this person. You're cutting them the fuck off. You have nothing else to say. This is king of swords in reverse. You don't have time for their lies. You don't want to deal with their lies. You're not even going to lie to them and sugarcoat them. You are transforming this energy. You are no longer coming off as a dishonest individual. That's why I feel honesty is heavy there for you, Sagittarius. Becoming more disciplined here, Aries, and working on that self-esteem. Okay, Leo? Transforming. You no longer have time to entertain the lies, the bullshit, the deception. Like, none of that. You're focused. You're cutting people off and you're staying focused here. Yeah. You're no longer working with... Look at this. Working with this Empress energy, this Libra Taurus energy, which this is the third time they done popped up and popped underneath. It's a lack situation. You know you have something new and going on for you here, okay? You're no longer trying to deal with a deceptive energy because why? It's Capricorn energy. It's the devil. It's low vibe type of energy, and you don't want to deal with it. You're trying to release this. Because granted, this person wants to come in. And look what we got coming off at the top. Virgo energy. Okay. Earth energy. Virgo. All right. But you have gone within yourself. You've done the work. You know what it is. And you know that you don't want to deal with this individual no more. No more. It could be, you know, if you were paying child support to someone or whatever. Or, you know, friends with benefits type of situation. Or just something that you had to invest in. Maybe it's a job. But either way, it's a lack situation. Something that no matter how much you try to put the work into, it just won't come together as, you know, eight of pentacles. It just won't do it, okay? Like it won't. But you're cutting this energy off. You're no longer dealing with it. And look, this is Virgo too. You're just not dealing with it anymore. Virgo season. So you definitely doing a lot of cutting off left and right this season because of what Virgo, where we at, feel me? And the Saturn is returning, so... Ugh, Capricorn, Earth, like I said, or whatever. Friday, rainbow blessings. Blessings are showering your life. Somebody got this for like their Sunday. Could have been, uh, could have been water signs. Could have been dealing with a water sign. Could have been an air sign. Whatever. But either way, by the time your weekend rolls in, the blessings will be showing to your life because you have transformed your trend your situation. Friday is payday. I see you guys being able to go out and enjoy your paycheck, going out and having a good drink, going out and spending on yourself, splurging on yourself, not having to worry about the next or anything like that, okay? Look at that gain, getting that paycheck, getting that money, becoming very independent. You guys go out and play the lotto too on Friday, okay? When you hit and Prish Jen told you, give me a piece, break me off. I don't want 10%. I take $10. That's fine. But make sure you go off and you play that lotto because with these rainbow blessings and this nine of pentacles here, you are definitely gaining. I'm seeing $900, $90, $900, $900, $900, $900, $900, $900, $900, $900, $900, $900, $900, $900, $900, $900, $900, $900, $900, $900, $900, $900, $900, $900, $900, $900, $900, $900, $900, $900, $900, $900, $
go ahead and play that money, okay? So look at that, because you got good luck. There's good fortune for you on Friday. Things are spinning in your favor. Uh, rainbow blessings, those of you who have suffered any miscarriages, I am seeing that you will soon see your positive soon. Your rainbow baby is on the way. I'm picking up nine months pregnancy. So this is your ovulation week. Get busy. Uh, you're going to produce. The fate is changing for you children card here six of cups here but fate is changing here on your past no more blockages guys okay there's no more blockages yeah this person will still continue to spy and watch you but it is what it is you just keep moving forward as you need to in life it's in there what you looking for what you looking for all right guys so let's see saturday you guys have begun now Take your first step. So, yeah, now you're on a new cycle. You're on a new journey. You're off venture on something new. You got this newness going on. You done cut out. I feel like really done cut out whatever the hell you guys needed to cut out. Whatever residue. I feel like you're completely done with your past. Um, you're just focused on your present. And with Saturday, with the weekend coming up, you're taking that first step out. And you're just moving on. You're moving forward onto something new here. You know, going towards new crops, planting new seeds. Getting ready for 2021, because if it ain't one thing I ain't been telling folks and realize my damn self is 2020 is over. That shit was over on March 15th <laughs> when they started locking us down, all of us down. So if you ain't just start planning for 2021, I don't know what to tell you. Hold on, guys. So, yeah. Yeah, Ten of Cups. Oh, look at that. Ten of Cups, King of Cups. There's still some conflicts that might try to pop up, though, within your life while you're trying to... You still got energy that wants to argue and yell with you. It's that doubt. Somebody who's just doubting you can go through and do these changes. Do the things that I'm seeing you guys go through right now. So, yep, look at that. Begin now. Balance. Here's your balance and your justice. Everyone has seen this and now it's out for you guys. So this is Libra energy here with this number eight. This is typically Leo in most traditional decks, but this is Libra. So this is you guys balancing out the scales. You know, justice has come. Karmic justice has been served. So now that you guys can finally move forward and start this brand new journey, this new cycle here. What I say, all the lies and shit is done to that. It's a third party. Like I said, whatever the third party was, friends with benefits, whatever the hell the case may be, it's over. Whatever was have like it had stagnant energy. It was stuck energy dealing with this. You got a new opportunity here. You're able to move forward here. Okay. You were investing in something that was no good here, but now you have the chance to invest in something that is new, a new passion to start, something that was probably in, in a stagnant energy. But now that, you know, true balance and clarity has come, all the lies and the deception and the backstabbing and the betrayal, all of that is gone. I feel now, you know, you have something better. You could be coming back around to work with someone. You know, where things were once stuck, but I also see that, you know, justice and balance is now happening to something that you were investing in, something that at one point actually held you by your heartstrings. I feel that you have moved on from it and have moved on from it now and you're going towards new truth, new clarity, okay? Just a whole new, new. And what we got for Sunday, guys? Infinite abundance. Abundance is pouring into your life, okay? So, yeah, you guys get to parlay, enjoy time with your family, your friends, okay? Um, I feel like you guys got to reap a lot of what you sowed. You reaped a lot of what you sowed. And all of it wasn't horrible, okay? I don't feel like, you know, you guys had to go through too much horrible things. Like, um, and most of your, like, your images here, I mean, is transforming is you by yourself i mean there were people who were with you on the journey but then you learn how to just take it by stride and become free and by the end of the week when you're by yourself you're you realize that you know it's okay to be around family or not it's okay to travel and be on your own you realize what roles that you play in life and certain folks okay yeah truth and clarity this is good news, new opportunities here for you, infinite abundance. You know now what you can go towards was for you. You're not fucking with shit that ain't for you no more. You know what is against you, okay? You you want to keep this upright wheel of fortune, which my bad. Uh, Scorpio, Leo, Taurus, and Aquarius energy, because I didn't call that sign out for you guys. But um, yeah, and I got cancer season. I got cancer rolling out here, so... 
lots of success here and being able to move forward to something that is true and honest and loyal for yourself in your life. Because think about it. Yesterday, you just brought justice to this and now we're coming here. We're getting new news and a new opportunity to go to something that is honest and true because we have finally brought justice to all the bullshit on Saturday. So come Sunday, you're able to live a whole new fucking life. Like, truly, it's a whole new fucking world, bro. Like, I can't make this up. That's what I'm saying. You guys started going through it. And it just depends on the other energies that surround you. But as far as, you know, you guys, you are, by the end of the week, I do see where you guys are able to start fresh and new on something that is very honest and clear, okay, and truthful. You have to stick with that moving forward. Or again, you can put yourself in these nasty cycles and, you know, build more nasty, dirty karma. Or you could just be like, you know what, I remember Empress Jim said, you know, no matter what you do, whatever you put out, that's what you give. So I'm always put out good. I'm always do good. I'm not going to manipulate. I'm not going to like steal from folks. I mean, you know, we, we all do petty accidental stealing. You might eat that grape in the store or whatever. But it's like, I ain't going to be out here trying to steal somebody man or steal somebody woman. Or I'm not out here damaging cars or, you know, um, trying to steal somebody's job or livelihood. Like, I'm, we're not doing that, okay? We're not manipulating energy. We're not. Because right now, what I can see with you, fire signs, is that you guys have a brand new, clear, honest start right now. Folks doubt that you can do it. I see that you can. The cars are saying that you can. Honestly, you have no choice but to. Or you're just going to slap yourself in the face. So, you're connected to source, baby. If you ain't got one, just take a moment and step back. I'm going to ask y'all this one question. Do you pray or do you meditate? And when you do, who do you talk to? Go back to that. Go back to that source. Get back aligned with it and get back aligned with it strong because you're going to need that power, especially moving through this month of September. What, whatever other energies are come into you guys, because like I said, whatever it is that you do, it will be like you guys will definitely be the ones where I will say, Go check out the weeklies for the other signs for your person or whoever these other energies are in your life. Whatever their signs are, go check that message because what they're going through is going to affect you on that term because they're still going through some shit. But I feel like you guys are really, you guys are the best. You're the best right now. You're the best. And I'm not a fire sign. I have fire for my moon. So, and you guys are the best. So... Aries, with this discipline, you need to get some fucking sleep. You are being an ass because you are fucking tired. Face the pillow now, okay? Follow your intuition. Again, lots of intuition, okay? Lots of intuition for you guys. You already know. Use your discernment. You are talented and fucking amazing, and you notice in your heart. So wake up. You are missing some cool shit. Start to vocalize more, okay? Leo, with the self-esteem here. What's the message for Leo? With the self-esteem. Leo, what the hell are you waiting for? Get that shit done. If you're waiting for a sign, well, here it fucking is. Like, stop putting yourself down. Like I said, you guys are usually king of the jungle. I'm lying. Hear me roar. But you let somebody just, like, turn you into some little kitty cat. Like, no. Roar, bitch. <laughs> roar, okay? Stop doubting yourself. Stop texting. Stop stalking. Stop checking on that person. Just fucking stop. Because they're going to keep putting you down and making you feel low about yourself. You are a badass, so act like it, all right? And Sagittarius, let's close y'all out with this honesty, boo. Let's see what we got. Sagittarius, what's the message? Sagittarius, what's the message? For August 31st, the week of. I guess I had to get that one too, huh? <laughs> All right, Sagittarius, it has. Stop talking, okay? Shut your mouth and listen. <sighs> Go back and listen to the Earth sign. Go watch Earths, like at least a piece of it, because then you'll understand. Get up until like at least their Wednesday. Then you'll understand why I say that for you guys. When folks come back to you, just close your mouth. You don't have to say anything anymore, Sagittarius. Like, I feel like you don't. I feel like you said all that you have to say. Now it's just a matter of you listening to what other folks have to say. Like I said, you guys have been as honest as you feel that you can be or that you like as you are. Like you don't feel like you've lied about anything. You feel like you've told the truth on everything. So whatever comes out that say you guys may have missed a little minor detail, 
you, you it's not intentional on your part okay like you have been as honest as you possibly can so whenever these other energies or this person or this earth energy that comes back around and needs to have something to say to you don't say anything just let them say what they have to say because i feel like they're gonna put their foot in their fucking mouth okay so st yeah stop obsessing you are not the fucking center of the universe. Just stay grounded and stay honest within yourself, okay? Don't worry about what somebody else can come and say to you. Like I said, as long as you know that you've been honest throughout this whole process, that's all that matters. So with that said, in vocalizing and communication and thoughts, don't believe every shitty thought that you have. Thoughts can be sneaky, lying bastards, okay? So don't let somebody make you think that you ain't honest or that you ain't true or that you didn't have pure intentions. Only you know, okay? And if you know that you are being honest, that's all that matters. What you guys got? Fuck fear. Help people give back and do good shit for humanity, okay? So essentially, I'm going to tell all y'all fire signs, fuck fear, okay? Fuck them folks. Fuck whatever the hell is about to come up towards you. Because like I said, I feel like you guys already had the time moment. The shit didn't already hit the fan for you. So what's worse? What more can happen? Ask yourself that. If you know that you went through like a serious time moment already within like the past month, ask yourself, what's the worst else that can happen? If you know that you genuinely been out here being good, then you shouldn't have to worry, right? Correct. So yeah, guys, that was your message for this week. You guys know what to do with the information. And until the next time we speak, which will be very soon, peace out.